I want to make this little video in response to coming the fuck out as ourselves. Because I I'm seeing some confusion, and I think I had this confusion myself. I see it in other people right now. Because I was told often I was too intense, too much, too sensitive, too serious, too fill in the blank. I think a lot of us were. And so we get this idea of who we are as being not acceptable in some way. And we can't express who we are with other people, not really, not my truest self. Because if I did, I will be rejected, I will be criticized, I will be judged. I think it was the intensity of me that I did my best to hide. that I was often deep thinking and that when I'm not smiling, my face looks very serious. So I smile a lot. I learned that other people like it when you smile. I do love smiling. And I also love sitting with my not face on. I think this confusion can create problems when when I think that there are only two options being myself or being fake in regards to other people so in other words I'm myself on 10 fuck you if you don't like it or I'm not being myself and I'm holding myself back filtering myself in some way. And that's not how it looks to me because myself being myself shows up in different shapes and forms depending on what's moving me in the moment, who's with me and what my intention is. So when it comes to being with other people, if I know that I, I can read the room when I'm not caught up in thinking about myself, I read the room and I know I don't even need to think about it. Just the expression that moves through me is right and authentic, both for me and the people I want to connect with, without a need to repress or filter myself. And I was talking about this with someone yesterday, and they weren't, they weren't really getting it. Like, no, 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 I have to filter myself. And I think they were right in that not everyone, not everyone has a feel for that, especially if we've spent a lot of time telling ourselves we're not allowed to be ourselves. We might not have a feel for meeting other people in that energy of our authentic self. But it makes it so complicated when we think about it. When I'm not thinking, I simply show up as me, expressing what I'm moved to express. And if something isn't received, I adjust. I change. It's natural. We learn. We grow. It's natural. And I, I want to share a quote that I heard just yesterday, and it's so beautiful as I'm preparing to talk about what it is to be yourself in an upcoming experience that I'm creating this week. This is a prayer from Makrina Wiederkeyer. I don't know how to say her name properly, but this prayer is beautiful. Oh God, help me to believe the truth about myself, no matter how beautiful it is. Help me to believe the truth about myself, no matter how beautiful it is. This is the underlying misunderstanding that, that keeps us thinking we can't be ourselves because we have associated ourselves with the, the ugly, 
the flaws, the mistakes, the things we don't like about ourselves and tried to hide that. But no, that's, that's not us. We're the beauty. You're the perfection. You're what's left without a thought of you on your mind. When you're at peace, when you're feeling good, when you're enjoying yourself, that's you. No mistake.